Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to 5 Minute Crypto, the channel where we cover the most important crypto news in just 5 minutes, back again with another crypto update. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is really interesting. There's been so much going on with Binance over the last couple of days, I, I couldn't, I couldn't ignore this subject anymore. So, first of all, Binance has been listing coin after coin after coin after token after coin. It's something that's been going on for a long while, but as I've expressed before, if you have a coin that gets listed on Binance, very often you have about 30 to 50% gains. Very freaking often. And sometimes it's a little bit of a trick to anticipate these such listings, as right now we had a very nice amount of profit with Quant and a little bit of profit with Clover, by just holding the coins in anticipation of such an event. Having said that, those are the good parts. The bad parts are more apparent over the last couple of days. Binance to wind down derivatives in Europe. Malaysia orders closure. This is basically the summary of the day. I had three articles about it. Crypto exchange Binance to wind down derivatives in Europe. Same thing right here over on Cointelegraph. And Malaysia takes aim at Binance chief executive as global crackdown escalates. Basically, Malaysia being really negative about Binance right now. But let's see this article because it basically encompasses it all. Users in some European countries will be unable to open new derivative positions with immediate effect. Binance's regulatory woes worsened Friday as Malaysia ordered it to halt operations in the country and the cryptocurrency exchange said it's planning to wind down futures and derivatives products across Europe, starting with Germany, Italy, and the Netherlands. Now, Malaysia's Security Commission, basically the SEC, but then the Malaysia uh, version of it, issued a public reprimand against the company and ordered it to disable the website and publication, uh, well, publication, mobile app in the country. According to the commission, Binance is illegally operating a digital asset exchange. The country's laws demand that all such exchanges must be registered by the SC. Binance also needs to halt marketing activities because they do a lot of freaking ads and prevent Malaysian investors accessing its Telegram group. Not exactly sure why that is the case, but all right. In Europe, Binance said users in Germany, Italy, and the Netherlands will be unaffected to, or so I guess, will be unable to to open futures and derivative positions on let me quickly see here on the platform with immediate effect and existing positions will have to be closed by an as yet determined or undetermined date a lot of people are speculating about 90 days the decision in its latest move to distance itself from products and services that have drawn the scrutiny from regulators in a slew of different markets early this week binance announced that it was stopping crypto margin involving sterling the euro and australian dollar this followed just hours after the ceo cz tweeted that the company was reducing the maximum leverage users can use to trade future contracts from 100 to 20 and binance has fallen foul of malaysia's market regulator in the past along with etoro it was added to the list of companies not permitted to operate in the country in july last year so phew, there was an entire article of facts and negativity regarding binance what part of it is true every single part what part of it is detrimental to know or, or, or handle with or against or do something for almost nothing Except for the fact that in a couple of weeks from now, most likely, your position will most likely be closed on Binance if you do not take action. So I would personally say, if you have a position open on Binance, well, good luck. Uh, but I would personally recommend to take a good look at every announcement Binance makes because pretty shortly here, it can just be closed if you did not close it up front yourself. And maybe switch over to something like Bybit, of which a link is down below. It's a platform that I'm personally using. You check it out. There's a couple of different options that would work, I guess. But um, yeah, that was it for uh, the 5-Minute Crypto update for today. Not that big. It's just a lot of concerns regarding Binance. I've warned before that I think taking your money off of Binance is a smart idea. But ultimately, they'll be around for a pretty good while. I'm not too worried about that. It's just about the fact that it's going to get worse and worse and worse before it gets a ton better. And I still think Binance will remain the number one exchange.